Let's take it back to 2012. She's studying abroad and she goes to this study abroad event in Tokyo. She meets this guy named Kei Komuro. This is the guy she's gonna give up everything for. And Kei is not like the other boys. A lot of people compare him to Imino and he was just easy on the eyes, I should say, and very upbeat. They start dating pretty discreetly for about a year and then Kei proposes to Mako. December 2013, they're still in college. They had just finished dinner in wow. Tokyo. They're walking around and Kay randomly tells her, let's get married one day. She rushes home. She told the royal parents what happened and they're like, okay, fine. This guy is a commoner and they're allowing her to date a commoner. The Japanese imperial family at one point in time were marriage snobs. The Japanese royal family were notorious back in the day for marrying each other. And later they were known for marrying only the creme de la creme of the society. But now it's like 2020, okay? Times have changed. Whoever and whenever Princess Mako gets married and whoever she gets married to, she will have to drop her royal title. She will be forced to drop her royal last name, lose her title, and join the husband's family registry.